Hello everyone and uh, welcome to So Many Games Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we'll be playing Magna Roma uh, by Arcona Games. Now we're playing the solo version of the base game. So that means we will not be playing the Barbarian Invasion or whatever that came in the expansion. We're also not playing with anything special. The only difference is that it has the deluxe components and uh, some monuments that came with the expansion and maybe some cards, uh, provinces that came. Uh, but uh, that's about it, nothing else. Everything else is base game, basically. Um, I will do more playthroughs probably later on with the other parts integrated, but it's always better to start at the beginning, right? So what is Magna Roma? In Magna Roma, you're building your own uh, Roman city, actually. And you're doing it by placing tiles. So we're placing, we're playing the solo version. So in the solo version, you're going to be playing uh, three tiles. So like this. There we go. It's nice, three different colors. And I will choose one and then I'll place it in my city. Now, it is of course important how or which ones that I choose because we have this here, the, um, player aid that shows you when you have certain combinations you get certain things for example if i take uh, this one and i connect both circles i have a full circle that will give me one or two coins i will get one coin only because they're two different colors if the tiles are the same color i will get two coins so the better benefit however if i flip it and it becomes like this then it will become the god's favor so I gain one or two faith. That means I will move on the Pantheon board. You can see here, two different colors. You move once, same color, you move twice. But here, two different colors, right? If I were to do this, then we have half a square and half a circle. Then we have a military that would give me one legion because once again, different colors. If it was the same color, as you can see here, I would move two spots forward on the military board. Some other combinations are, as you can see here, uh, luxuries, which means you can move one or two spots on the market board. Uh, prestige, if you have a full square, then you get one or three points. Okay, so prestige points. Coins we did, population here, you gain one or two population, there's these guys. Military we did and God's favor we did. Now, why would you make certain choices? First of all, uh, we have the Pantheon. If we if we go up, you will get these uh, blessings. These blessings you can then put on your city to reactivate the bonuses. So let's, so let's imagine this is full, completely surrounded, right? If I put it here, then I would activate this, this, and this again later on in the game. Um, so basically these are pretty powerful. Or you could keep them because as you go higher up, you can see the value of each token if you haven't used them. The maximum is, of course, five. So that's the Pantheon. Then you have the market. If you go up the market, you see zero times stars. Now, before I explain that, I should actually go here because every time we play a tile that has a star, you will move up the track in its corresponding color. So if I play this tile, you move up one spot here. And we'll keep going forward. If you reach here, on each track you get the bonus these are a bit special because then you both need to be here to get the, bo the, the bonus in the middle and uh, and so on but you can see here the value one two two three 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 four four five 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 six seven if you move on the market board it says here zero times star one times star so let's say we're here and the game would end at this point let's say it's like this right then you look at your lowest track, which in this case is here, and I have three. Three times one, I get three points. Okay. But let's say I was way farther up in the uh, track over here, times three. I mean, three times three would be nine points. So that's how that works. Always the lowest track. Uh, for example, here would still be three there. You can see there's also uh, trait tiles here. These are... Uh, uh, pretty decent amount of variability because there's a bunch of them in the, in the in the box so if you reach here you have to decide if you want to sell one of the tokens that you have if you have any for five points or if you go here then you can change two coins into two 
military and three points. Or if you go here, you can uh, change one blessing token into two military. <laughs> I actually have the other way around. It's like this. You trade two military for a blessing token. Okay, then we have the military track. So once again, you get that by doing combining this, right? So then you move forward. You can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, up to 6. These points you get at the end of the game. But you can also spend your legions. I can have 5 legions here, or 6, 4, 3, and so on. You can spend them by then taking your token and covering one of these spots in the provinces. So let's say I go to Dacia. I need uh, 5 legions. I have 5. I cover this up, this goes back to the beginning, and then I get four points for each monument I have on my board, or here. Um, and you also get certain bonuses if you go in certain positions, short spots. If I'm here, I would get four times every two red tiles that I have, and here I would get two points for uh, each three coins or um, population that I have in my position at the end of the game. And you can see you can also sometimes have the bonuses that are underneath when you do it. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, so basically you try to conquer all these and by the end of the game also make sure you're somewhere here to get the bonus points. Then we have the um, monuments here. So for monuments, you need to have the money to pay for it. So five, five and five. There's cheaper ones, there are more expensive ones. The bottom left, you see how many, how much population needs to be on there. So if you have the Basilica and you buy it, it's not the end game scoring here is not going to activate unless you have four people on it. Now throughout the game, you can add and you know uh, change the amount of population there's on there as much as you want with other uh, monuments. How do you place them? Well, for example, if you take all three, let's say it was like this. Actually, you cannot use your starter tile. So let's let's say this is not a well, let's just use this one. Let's say it's a normal tile, right? So then you could put it like this. Okay? This would be legal, but you cannot put it on your starter tile. There is, however, one building that has to be put on your starter tile, but that's something else. Also, if I have a building here, I cannot build a new monument on the same tile that is already built on. So that's not allowed either. Uh, and also it can't be you can't be doing like uh, this, for example. It has to be a full square. All right, so that is how monuments work and they're all end game scoring. For example, this one is for each purple tile underneath it, which will be two rows. If it's at the top, you'll get three points. This is for each red tile underneath it is three points. And this is for the amount of people that are on the triumphal arch. If there's five on there, you get 12 points. If there's only two, four points, and so on. Okay, and I should also say the red ones are administration tiles, the purple ones are cultural, and the gray ones are residential. All right, so basically that's how the game works. Um, of course, we're playing solo, so there's no automa or anything like that in, this, in the base solo game. Uh, you do have these uh, goals. Now, these are, these are level 2 goals, as you see, because I played um, level 1, and that was way too easy. I had 118 points or something. This basically says you, had, you need to have this in this row. If you don't, you will lose points. Well, you don't lose points, but you don't get the bonus points at the end of the game. So if I manage to do this, right? Then if I only do this one, I'll get four points. If I do two, I get nine. If I do three, 15. If I do all four, 22. So I need to bless two tiles here. Here I need to have seven stars in total. Here I need to have four of that combination. And here I need to, I cannot have any of these three symbols. Um, so no theater, no uh, music, I guess, and no beautiful places, whatever. I don't know what these are called. Um, this one I'm going to check though. This is mask, liar, or column. And this one means it has to be four of the same color, but you, I can choose which one. All right, it's not easy, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I suggest we start, right? Because how many minutes was it? Uh, just 10 minutes? That's okay, because the game is not that difficult, but it is... You do have a brain freeze sometimes when you're trying to combine everything. That is definitely true. All right. So uh, let's start, let's get going, shall we? So the blessings here, 
it would be good if I have tiles that have uh, four entryways, but it's going to be difficult because there's three. Here, I cannot have any of these, so that's actually perfect because none of these have that. Um, so why don't I start with this and I shall add, what shall I add? Uh, what shall I add? What shall I add? I can actually start like this and that would give me God's favor. I need blessing. So I'll start with this. This gives me one though. So I just move up one and then I get one red star and that's it. So these two go away and three new ones come out. Okay. So, um, there's no four ones. That's too bad. I do have, if I want to keep on going the, uh, religious route, then I could take this one because oh, I need to have four red ones, right? I have one at the moment. Um, yeah, I think I'll take this one and put it here. Yeah. So this two is still the same color. So I'm going to get two faith. So one, two, and that gives me one blessing. So I'll put it here and, um, one star and that means i get one military okay all right these two go away up, up, up. and then these three so you can see it goes pretty fast now this looks nice so blessings could be here stars are here three of the same color are here so I do like this one, but I cannot put it here. So I think I will put it, I'm just going to put it here. Now these two have a different color, right? But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to get one population because it's different color. So I just get one guy, which I'll be able to use later for the, for the, uh, wonders. And then I get two stars for, purple which gives me a coin which i can use later to buy uh these uh wonders as well all right so that's done these two go away okay so um i kind of like that one like you could put it like this but there's two stars that would have been really good for the seven um, but it's too late now. Uh, if I put this, the only thing I would get is two stars. Okay. I can put it as legal, but there's no connection here. So there's still roads here. So that's all fine. But, um, yeah, that would just give me two stars and give me one population. Or I could just keep going with red. So I have three already. And that would, but it just gives me points or military. I actually like the idea of military being blessed again. But if I put a blessing here, I'll just get this. I won't get this. So that's not good enough. No, I don't want that. Um, I'm just going to put this one like this. So that gives me one population and two stars. Uh, actually, the population should be here. And the money should be here. And two stars, so purple. There we go. All right, so these go away. And have another red. And the purple is nice because I could combine it like this. Um, But this one is even better. I'm going to put this one like this because it will help with the blessing as well. This will give me one coin. And that's it. Just one coin. Uh, three. There we go. So I still need a three-way red here, preferably. But it's not going to come anytime soon, I'm afraid. 
Um, there's no double star, which I want to put here. Um, blessings wise, this should be good if I combine it with gray. So I could put a gray there actually. That would give me double military. I think I'll do that. Yes. Although, this also gives me military. Yeah, I'll do this. This gives me two military. Up. And one star. So the, I don't get the bonuses because the others need to arrive there as well. So these two go away. Aha. Now these are the red ones that I like. So they're basically the same, roughly. So I think I'll do this. It gives me one luxury and two points. But of course I can change it. It can also give me two population, but I'm kind of good at the moment with that. It can also give me two military. I'll go for the military, I think. Yeah, I'll go for the military and the one luxury. So one luxury, two military, and then God knows whatever comes here. But I already have three, so a fourth one and I'm, and I'm set there, so that's good. Let's see. So I could potentially, as an extra action, use my military now to conquer, which I think I will do. I'll take the most expensive one, it's either this one or this one. I'll do this one. Up. So the points I will get at the end. Alright, three new ones. Because during my turn I can do one of three special actions, build a monument, send a legion, or bless a city tile. So, now this is also interesting, especially the two star one. I'm gonna use a two star one, I think, for red here. And that would become two military again. It's really a military tile. So two military, and I get two stars for red. Yep. Okay, so this is already done. This is on the way. This is not done at all. This is still okay. So, uh, is there anything else I want to do? No, no conquering, no blessing, no, not yet. Ah, uh, purples. Um, but not exactly the purples I want. Gray, I can actually do this one. If I do it like this, I would get three points, which I guess is okay. If I do it like this, I get two population, which is also just okay. Um, and one star. Or if I put it like this, I don't want to really want to do that. I can just do this to get two culture. Okay, I'll do this. That gives me two luxury actually, sorry. Two luxuries and one star for purple. I actually need more gray tiles, actually. Hmm. Right, so three new ones. All right, I'm kind of focused on red because I want to get this as good as, as good as possible because activating these two for blessings would be awesome. So if I do this one, I could potentially have another two luxuries, um, which would be nice, of course, because it will do that. Um, and it will also give me one star. Oh, no, not, not here, it doesn't matter. So if I do it here, I think I'll do that. Yeah. Oh, if I do it like this, I get God's favor, which is even better. More variety. So this is double God's favor. So one, two. And the star. Up. So I get one culture, because both of them have passed there. All right, so... Done. Up, up. You can see this goes pretty fast, right? One, two, and the third one. This is a nice one. I like that one a lot. Um, also, because there is no uh, none of these items here, so I think I'll take this one and put it like this, because that means I get one God's favor, but I can do more combinations later on. So I get another blessing token. So at this point, I could actually put a blessing token here again, which is what I'm going to do, and get two legions, four legions. So one, two, three, four. And then here, this is 
to God's favor. So I want two. And this one is one luxury hub. All right, so I already used my blessing, so I can't use my military now. Up, up, up. Next. There we go. Boom, boom. All right, so that looks pretty good for here. Um, double tile actually looks good. If I combine it to this, I get God's favor again, but for two as well. So I would give me another blessing token and they'd be worth three points, which is pretty nice. And it's another two stars. But then two, three, four, five, six. I need another two stars here for sure. Um, yeah, I'll do that. But I can choose actually, I can do double luxury or double gods. I'll do for, I'll go for luxury actually. So double luxury, one, two and two stars yep. okay i really need to get this going <laughs> otherwise i'm not going to get a lot of points that's not looking good actually at the moment i hear double star so that's interesting i think i have to take this although the purple one is really nice um i will take this just to get other points here there we go so two stars yep. I get another one of these and um, double military. Oh no, that's not good. Basically my military is wasted now. Yeah. Okay, so I won't do this or I will do this, but I just won't put it there. But yeah, I mean, where else would I put it though? Uh, the blessing was too early. All right, I won't do it for now. Uh, I will do something else. And that will be, I guess, the purple one. And get the double God's favor. So, one, two. So it gives me another blessing. And then I'm gonna use my military to invade Dacia. Although it gives me points for wonders that I don't have yet. But I guess I'm just gonna to have to invest. There we go. Next turn. Uh, more purples, not exactly what I need. Aha, perfect. This one. So two, I get the population. I forgot to remove it before, but it doesn't matter. So two stars. And um, that is another two population. So that's a lot of people. All right, cool. I like that one. Okay, so this is almost done. This is done. This is not done yet. So I can do an extra action now. I could use one of my blessing tokens to, for example, activate this again. This would give me four god spots one two three basically put me on the top if i put myself here and also two culture if i put myself here i get one coin two gods stuff two population and one culture um i think i'll go for the god stuff so it's two four that's one two three Four, so I get another blessing token and um, also this one which is double culture so one two I could do this um, I'll I don't want to do it because I want to buy wonders that'll be more it'll be better than, than that one so I'm not doing that so this goes away okay so now I need to make sure that I don't have any of these icons here. First and foremost, everything else is done. Well, I need to have one more star there, but yeah. for example, this would work perfectly, but that would give me military, which is also nice. But I need gray, I need more gray for the stars. So I'll just put this here. This is gonna be one point, but two here. 
which of course three times four is 12 points. So um, that's why I'm doing that. Okay. I also need money. I need money to get wonders because wonders is a huge amount of money. I have so many people. Uh, okay. But before I do it, do I want to bless anything else? My blessings are now five points though. But if I can get a wonder, it'd be more points. But then I don't have a lot of places where I get money. So it doesn't seem worth it. No. Let's see. Okay. So all gray, which is good to move up the tracks. It would give me one popularity, but don't really need that. Um, <laughs> yeah, those are all not very good. Yeah, no. I can get one coin. Basically. Yeah, I can just get one coin. <laughs> um, now, even for a setup, it's not exactly fantastic. Um, all right, so I'm just going to put this here in the hope that we can get some money. I get one star, which means one guy. Up. And then these two go away. Three more. No purples. I do have a red one that I like uh, because that can give me points, but I need money. That's what I need. Um, none of this gives me money. Nowhere. I can't get money anywhere. Unless I connect this one, that'll be two money and one God's favor, but then I'm already maxed out. So I guess that does nothing. Um, does it though? Yeah, I imagine you just stuck at the top there. So if I do this, I get two coins and then this is kind of wasted. But yeah, there's not much else to do, to be honest. Yeah, I'll just do this. So I get two coins, which gets me on four coins. I still need one to be able to do anything. Um, but of course I could activate this again. So I get another two coins. But if I do that, um, then I can get the Triumphal Arch, which is really good. So yeah, I'll do that. I'm basically spending five points. So you get two coins, and then I spend five. Well, the building one has to happen next turn, so not not yet, not yet. That's an extra optional action, whatever. So here we go. Up. Well, I can get some more money now. Um, this way. So one star for purple. Up, and two money there, two gold. So then I spent five gold to buy a monument. This would be the Triumphal Arch. I need to get my military up again because it's a zero. It's also points. So I can just put it wherever I want because it just takes people. So I'll put it here. There we go. Actually, I have the minis, so I should take the actual building. And the actual building is here. There we go. Boom. Now I'll put the token here with five people on it. There we go. That's 12 points. So I basically gave five points to get 12. All right, so that's done. Um, these go away. Uh, three more. Oh yeah, a new monument comes out. There's a Pantheon. So basically, um, actually the Basilica would have been better, but I don't know the space. So five points, but you do immediately get a blessing token. So, okay, we have these. Um, hop. So not an awful lot to do. Um, I can give myself military, which is what I wanted, right? Actually. Um, there's no double stars, so that doesn't really work. Oh, I went here. I was supposed to give myself culture. 
<clears throat> so I do have five times three. But getting to four is going to be difficult. Um, I think. Yeah, it doesn't really work. I thought about putting this one here, but that's not allowed. So I will. I do want to have the basilica, but I need two more coins. So in that case, I'll put this one like this. Get one red and nothing else, but hopefully I'll get some money to attach, a red one for example, and then would be enough to get the Basilica. And look, that's exactly what I needed. Hup, two coins and one star. And then I spent all my money to get, oh no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. I need to buy it and put it here at the end so I can get all the red tiles there. Because it's three points for every red tile. So three, six, nine, twelve, and so on. That'd be awesome. Let's see. I just want to make sure if it's correct. Three points for each red city tile under the basilica in the game. Ah, but yeah, it's not underneath, it's just what is on top, so you can get 12 points. Okay, it's not all the way down, it's just on top. So I'm gonna buy it now then. That's five. Put it here. The downside is, so this is the Basilica, let me find it. Here we go. The downside about the Basilica is that it needs so many people. So the moment I only have one, I could put four on there. That would give me 12 points. And then this one would only give me four points. So I need to get more people now. Anyway, that's done. So three more. Oh, a double star. It will just get me one coin actually, so it's not that much. I need to have gray ones, for example, this one. And I need to have, uh, what did I just say that I needed? Oh wait, a new wonder comes out. It is a Colosseum. So for each uh, face underneath it, you get three points. Um, I need more armies. And I need more gray. And there's something else I needed, I just said. Ah, people. Yeah. And people is like that. So that works if I do it like this. I get two population. Yeah. But isn't there another way to do it though? I think I should probably... No, that doesn't work. Yeah, because I basically blocked this off. If I do it like this, then it's God's favor, which is useless. If I do it like that, it's two military legions. But it's not going to give me any money. You have to go really far to get those. I still do have a blessing token. Um, but now I'm spending another five. Well, to, to get eight, to be fair. So where do I still have a lot of people? If I put it here, then I do get two population one culture doesn't make a difference one coin doesn't make a difference and this doesn't make a difference do i get people anywhere else in the middle but it's just one 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 it's not worth it um i get people here but it's just one uh, and this god stuff again so that's not really useful no no it's not it's not good at all all right, I guess I have to do it anyway. Yeah. So one forward and I get two people. So of course they go here. So now I have four, it's nine points. All right. And I could bless, but there's no real reason to bless. Because even if I bless it, it would just give me uh, four extra points. So it's not worth it. What I need right now is maybe military or cultural or gray. How about gray and population? There we go. Perfect. So I get one population, a uh, two population, sorry. So one here, one here. So they're maxed out again. And a star. So we're at four now. So four times five, 20 points. Sweet. 
So if I can move that just a little bit farther, that'd be perfect. Because then we go from 20 to 24. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see the next three. I was have, I can still do a blessing, but it's five points though. Okay, so this could be the setup to get those P, uh, those uh, the culture. So if I do this, but then I have to gamble, it is a gray one that comes out. Because just any color will not be enough. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. If I go for red, I'll get a coin though. And I'm scoring this right. Oh no, I never did it. I never, I'm not scoring that. Okay. So, well, let's, let's just try. We'll see what happens. This gives me nothing. Actually, it's stupid. I might as well do this and that gives me an extra star and hope for red. So it gives me a coin. Not that that does much, but and in the last turn, mm, one red, and it is, is it the one I need? It is the one I need, yes. So I get one star again, that doesn't make a difference. And then I do get two culture, two luxury, I mean, one and two. And I could potentially spend two battle to get a blessing, but there's nothing there. Um, and that is now six times four, but it could become seven times four if I bless it. But it's just four points difference and I'm spending five points. So that mean it doesn't make that doesn't make a difference at all. Okay, so no. I think I'll stop there. That's the end of my game. Final scoring. It's really quick, right? It's only 40 minutes. Nice. Okay. End game scoring. Let's see. Dun 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 dun. First of all, the market. So we're over there at six times four. So that's 24. I have one, so 25 points. There we go. Pantheon. So I'm at the top, which is five. I have one, so that's five points. So that's 30 points. Then the monuments. I have uh, this one, the Triumphal Arch. I have five people, so that's 12 points. So that's 42. Then I have the uh, Basilica, which means three points for every red tile underneath. So another 12 points. So that's 54. So I put my 50 point token here. Normally I put it underneath it, but I don't really like that. Um, so the monument's done. Then we have dun, 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 over there, I think military. Yeah, the provinces. So I get four points for every two. So that's one two, three, four. So four times four is 16. So that's another 20. And then here I get four points for each monument. So I have two, so that's eight, so 28. All right, and then um, military, nothing. And uh, that is it. Yeah, that's it. So I score 78 points. I have, oh, no, 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 no. I still need to do these as well because I did everything. I have two blessings. I have four of the same color. I have seven stars and none of these uh, icons appear on these tiles. So I get 22. So that's basically another 50. So I score 100 points. Boom. So 100 points, what does that get me? 100 points, solo level gets me Caesar, your skills rival the emperor's. Now, when I played on easy mode, I had 122. So now, slightly more difficult, I get 100. So maybe there's a level three, there's a level four, I think even. So it will definitely get more difficult. But this is uh, Magna Roma. And um, I should also tell you, if you play with other people, you're going to have tiles that are here and then you choose a tile that you want and then it's the other person's turn and it comes back to you and then you take the tile and then you can jump two places in any direction to choose a new tile so then you have you still you actually have more choice 
because if you're here and there's one, two, and one, two here, you have four options. And even if there's someone here already, you can just jump as one, two. So yeah, you actually have more options in the solo game because you have only three. And with more people, you have four to choose from, apparently. Although this is two to three people. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. That's my aroma. I'm not gonna give my opinion just yet. Um, We'll see in future plays because there's a lot of stuff I want to try. Um, we have the uh, harbor, the port expansion. We have the, where's the other thing here? We have an extra board where you send, you remove the military board and you add a new milita military board in the Dominus expansion. We're actually going to fight over area control and everything which seems a little bit more interesting than this to me. Um, we also have, where is it? Ah, oh, the city planning cards and the beautify tiles. So you can put tiles on top to make them prettier, but also the planning that will, uh, uh, that will basically say, okay, if you put this and this in these areas, you get extra points. Um, so I want to try that too. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to put in there. Um, and then just see what it plays like, what the difference is, what I prefer. I do think that I will definitely remove the market to incorporate this board. Because I think this will be way cooler than just this one. But, you know, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see because I haven't tried it yet. I'm just guessing here. I'm just guesstimating. Okay. That's it. That was me. I was Joachim. I always will be. So, so many games all the time. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.